Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need some therapy after this. Please let this be the last letter. Thank you. Ah, uh, how nice. Letter from Dainty and Minnie T. Call him Minnie T. These naughty little rascals when I visit them at home, they're always up to something. They do write me letters often. It's nice to get letters. Their mail makes me happy as the mail of my wife and daughter. I guess I almost forgot. I need a <laughs> Goompa Pong Goomba Village, back where this whole mess started. It's actually a reply back to Little Gumbari, but I need her dad to explain it better. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit of therapy before I can deliver this last letter, okay? I'm gonna go get that therapy, and then I'm gonna go deliver the final letter. Oh, what do you know? Another letter behind this icy rock. The Merlo, which needs to Just what we need. More freaking letters! Okay. Can I go get my therapy now? Coolest song in the game. It soothes me as if it were therapy. Okay, I'm feeling up to going and delivering that last letter now. Ah, so cool. You! You're the one who's put me through all this antagony! You are going to die! Here is your letter! Good day, sir! I said good day! Thank you, sir. What would we, what would we do without the Postal Service? I think we'd be a, have a lot less suicides without the Postal Service. Oh, interesting. A letter for Gimbari. I guess I could open it. Remember she wrote a letter just the other day and I was wondering what it was. I see. It was a question. She's writing to a child molester up in a northern region. It seems to answer the question. It looks pretty complicated, but I think I understand. I'll tell her all about it. Thanks so much for prompt delivery. Here, take this. We get the lucky day badge! Sometimes it makes enemies fail to attack Mario! <laughs> I need more therapy! The awesome music! And after that hell chain side quest that we had to do, we're back to just delivering regular old letters. This is the traveling to Mighty Mouse on the road that is spoken of in a letter. Letter from Mustafa. I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering. I'm surprised you found me way out here. Extremely hot traveling in the desert. Take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate. Please take it. A star piece. Alright, now... When we were last here, I was saying that if you go to where Colorado's uh, tent was set up... Basically, uh, if you go to where Colorado's tent was set up... You know, after the, you've uh, finished, I think, Chapter 3, or at least after you started Chapter 3 or whatever... Um, you could hit the palm tree behind where his tent was to find a letter that you could not reach before because of his tent being in the way. But now his tent is gone, we're gonna do that. This letter is to... Goomba and Goomba Village. Oh, God, Goomba Village again. That is where this whole chain letter thing uh, started. Anyway, heading to the next letter. Goompa, buddy! You better not be like your son. You better not give us a crap ton of letters to deliver. Now, what could this be? Koopa Koot? Er, uh, I've a feeling about this, so I'll read it later. It's probably old Koot's usual backstabbing gosh, if he really needs to get out more. What's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? I know you're pretty busy, so take this for delivering this. Why don't you take this to talk my thing? Alright. Koopa Koot is another thing aside quest, though, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? He's in the far right house in Koopa Village. He gives you a lot of side quests, and he usually gives you one coin for them. Okay, I'm not gonna do this. Anyway, I wanted to show a shooting star you can get if you go back out on the veranda after it's fixed. Which is actually pretty cool. I believe it's after you start Chapter 1, you can actually go back there and get it. It's fairly early in the game, you can come back here and get it, though. But anyway, I'll go ahead and deliver some more letters. Next, we have Igor in Boo's Mansion. I believe he runs the shop. Actually, um, yep, that'd be him. Alright, let's go ahead and deliver this to him. Probably gonna be another star piece. A letter? Oh, right. An order list. Where? This one's from Gusty Gulch. It's right around the corner. Why can't they just come here? Oh well, my audio is from from Boo to you with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Star piece. Okay. All we have left now are Mare Penguin Shiver City and Merlo at Shooting Star Summit, who we're gonna need to go see anyway with all these damn star pieces we're getting. Okay, see you guys in just a moment. What do you know? We've been wandering around the world so much, we've been seeing Chuck Quizmo like crazy lately. We're gonna go ahead and do his next quiz, and I'm not even gonna do the voice, because I am so sick and tired of all these side quests. But it's all worth it for the star piece, okay? What is the name of the leader of the original Goomba Brothers? That would be Goomba King! Big Goomba Dr. Goomba! Alright, he is your star piece! So you gotta get a little bit of the voice that time. Yay, star piece. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have a lot of star pieces to buy badges with. I just wanted to get a lot of star pieces before leaving, you know, for Star Haven. Just so, you know, we can get all the coolest badges and all that. And so we'd be, you know, able to fight Bowser with awesome power. 
Yes, we've saved all seven star spirits. All we have to do is beat those Bowser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give this to him. It's from Yoshi Village. And a star piece. Okay. Now, we're just going to go to Shooting Star Summit, go to Merlo, and we're going to go ahead and buy those badges from him that I was saying. And, uh, let's see how many star pieces we have. If he gives us a star piece, we'll have 23 star pieces. Quite a nice uh, chunk of change to buy badges up there, alright? I'll see you guys there. And then after that, um, in the next part, we're going to go fight uh, Bowser, I guess. Well, not go fight Bowser, but I mean go to Shooting Star Summit and uh, go up to the Starway like we were told to. Um... I'm probably going to upload another part alongside this one, like I'll probably upload an extra part um, on the day that this one is uploaded because, you know, this isn't really a noteworthy part, it's just a bunch of little extras and stuff that I skipped before. And I'm thinking there actually will be one upgrade block along the way that I missed. I have a good idea of which one it is though, I just don't remember exactly how to reach it. It's inside Mount Lava Lava, but, you know, at least I got most of them upgraded and we're not going to really need to keep working with Mario. I mean, we're going to use this for the rest of the game. Okay, now, before we go up to Merlo, we're going to go into the Picklefish Lip Start and get the Jam and Jelly. Oh, we can't carry any more items. Great. All right, let's see what we got. What we got. Don't need the Snowman doll. Come on. I'm just going to go up here. All right. The stairs need to jump up. Jump, Mario! Let's check out Parkery. Let's talk to Merlo. Yeah, he actually... Parkery will deliver this to Merlo before he actually prompts you to badge me. Which, oh, that was kind of weird. Letter for me? From Merlo to start before I... Oh, wow, news from my dad. Well, apparently they're all siblings. Those write letters all the time. Where's me? Sisters and I are totally bad about writing back, though. Maybe I ought to write him a little more often, huh? This is a treasure I've kept for a long time. I'm going to give it to you as thanks. You can always come back and swap me something more, something for it. <laughs> he gives us a star piece to swap back to him, because that's really the only use of the star piece in this game. All right, let's see. Um, feeling fine badge is really good. Can we buy anything? Okay, we can't buy the flower saver, which makes attacks use one less FP. And we can't use the power. Can't get the power plus. Money, money. We're not gonna really need any money for the rest of the game. We're so close to the end. Um, HP drain. Makes our attack power down by one, but we still run H one HP every turn. Um, I'm gonna say the feeling fine badge. Um, I, well, that one should be good. And let's see here, I'll get the uh, flower finder because that'll come in a lot more handy. Because flowers appear a lot less often than hearts do. Uh, battles, and then I'll get the attack MXA and the payoff just to use the remainder of my star pieces that I can just use up every star piece that I can. Alright, well anyway, um, I apologize for not much happening in this part though, but, um, grab that gem and jelly off camera though. And okay, now for the icing on the cake of the little extras that I wanted to show, now that I'm done with the little letters. Great, this beach is still caught the way up there in the sky. Come on, Mario, you're a hero, bro, you have to save her. Okay, now, this is something I wasn't thinking of showing. Now, first up, I want to check this. Okay, let's see here. Coins earned, 1,311. Badges collected, 47 out of 80. Star pieces collected, 48 out of 160. Tasties recipes, 4 out of 50. Chuck Quizmas quizzes, found 6, gotten 6. Let's see, number of battles, 269, damn. Your first strikes, 111. Enemies first strikes, 34. Total power bounces, 101, damn. Anyway, this is something I've been meaning to show, okay? I kind of skimped out on doing this, though, but... You see this area where the floor is different? If you spin jump or tornado jump on it, you go through the floor, and down here is Luigi's Diary. If you actually, you can't get to this until after you've gotten the spin jump in chapter three. Um, if you come here as soon as you get the spin jump at Boo's Mansion, you can actually find Luigi down here. Right in the cellar, you have to like leave Boo's Mansion and come right back to a Toad Town and go down here. Luigi will actually be down here, and then like he'll grab his diary and then like he'll run away. It's kind of weird though, but anyway, he has a lot written here, ten pages actually. I'm not gonna read these, okay? I'm sorry. I just don't really think. I mean, some of them are funny, but it's just not really worth it, okay? Maybe in Paper Mario 2 I'll read Luigi's story in that, but um, for now I don't think so, okay? But anyway, um, 
I guess it does it for this part, okay? So anyway, if you uh, like this part, subscribe to me, visit the corner, big yellow button, give me a first every video, download this video, for sure you can like this one. Okay, in the next part, we head out to Shooting Star Summit. Alright? Okay, see you guys later.